We are going to start developing a PHP MVC web application. The environment we are going to use is uh, XAMPP for the server and Sublime Text for the editor. If you don't have uh, XAMPP, you can easily download it from apachefriends.org. Just uh, download any version you need for your uh, platform. They're all available. And uh, Sublime Text 3 is the editor, which we are using. So you can easily download it and evaluate it for yourself before buying it. So let's get started. <clears throat> so Sublime Text is able to uh, manage uh, folders of uh, entire folders and all your files inside these folders. Display them in the bar uh, on the side. If you want to do that, you can uh, click on open folder and then navigate to the folder which you want to open. Uh, in our case, uh, we're trying to uh, manage files inside the exam HG docs folder which is located here you would basically say select folder and open it to get this view um, now I'm gonna start up my exam server to start up exam you basically turn on exam control.exe and you start Apache so the Apache web server is running. Currently there are no files in my project, no files in my web, uh, my web document root. So if I go on localhost, what you will see is basically nothing, an empty folder. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what I want to concentrate on today is the configuration to make uh, the application runnable. Um, so bootstrapping and writing the .ht access file. So let's start with uh, building a new file and saving it as .ht access. So this file is going to be configured in order to uh, forward the requests to the main program entry point, uh, such that all requests are funneled to the same location instead of using multiple different files, different entry points for the program. So the first thing we're gonna write is options minus multiviews, which is there to avoid any file substitutions. Next, we will write rewrite engine on, which turns on the possibility of rewrite, uh, rewriting uh, URLs, basically taking the incoming request and uh, reformatting it as a different request to Apache. Next, rewrite base forward slash basically stating that all the requests are going to be rewritten to the uh, root rewrite condition um, on the variable which is going to be written as request file name We want it to be not a, a directory and not a file. And finally, we write the rewrite rule as being a matching of a regular expression. Basically, everything that's coming in. So this string is going to capture everything that's coming in and is going to rewrite it to index.php, a file that's not here yet, through the URL get parameter, the URL uh, parameter in the query string. We're going to pass everything. $1 is everything which is matched in these parentheses. Uh, now, uh, the next part 
is uh, going to be writing the options for this rewrite. Um, the options we want to uh, add here are going to control the way the query string the query string QSA is going to be appended if there's any query string to be appended. Uh, in other words, if there are any other parameters uh, that we want to pass through the query string, they will be appended after this parameter here. And that's very important in case we use these in our program. And finally, the L flag is there to state that this is going to be the last instruction to run if it runs. All right. So let's try this out. The way we're going to try this out is by building the index.php file and getting it to output what's inside the uh, get parameters. So let's make another new file and save it as index.php. And let's just basically write here a small uh, PHP script. and var dump dollar underscore get save this and let's test this so localhost slash hello gets me an output that there is a query string uh, and the query string has the parameter a value of hello which is passed through url if I add hi, I see hello, hi, separated by a slash. Okay, great. So what we've accomplished now is we have the configuration done for the web server through the .ht access file. And all the requests are going to be uh, routed to the index.php file. So this is the bootstrapping uh, process. In the next video, we're going to see how we actually process the URL in order to uh, route the HTTP requests to different, um, different um, uh, controllers and controller methods. So thanks for watching.